Welcome back, everybody. Tonight we are going to read a, a book about one of our Old Testament characters. It's called Bible Heroes, and this one is about Esther. There once was a powerful king who ruled a mighty kingdom called Persia. Persia contained many lands and many people, including the Hebrews. The king longed for a new queen, and so his servants searched for such a woman. The king decided to marry Esther, a beautiful young Hebrew girl, but the king did not know Queen Esther was a Hebrew, and many people across the kingdom did not like Hebrew people. One day, the king's wicked advisor, Haman, devised an evil plan to destroy all the Hebrew people in the kingdom. Mordecai, Queen Esther's cousin, learned of Haman's hateful plan and knew that, the only, knew that only the queen could save the Hebrews. Mordecai wrote a letter and asked her to tell the king about Haman's deadly plan. But without a special royal invitation, no one was allowed to see the king, even Queen Esther. Although she was afraid, Queen Esther decided she must go see the king anyway. After three long days of fasting and praying, she entered the king's throne room. The king was pleased to see Queen Esther, and he kindly offered up to half of his kingdom for her happiness. Queen Esther only asked the king to attend two banquet feasts. She also invited Haman to join the king, which made the prideful advisor feel very important. After Queen Esther's first feast, the king could not sleep, so he called for a royal book of records and historic events. The king read a story about his past and remembered that Mordecai the Hebrew had once saved his life. The king had forgotten about Mordecai and his bravery, so he asked Haman to publicly honor and reward this Hebrew ally the very next day. The king's decision to honor Mordecai made Haman very angry. During the second feast, Queen Esther revealed that she, too, was a Hebrew. She explained Haman's evil plan of destruction and asked the king to save her people. The king listened, and he believed Queen Esther. Haman was destroyed by his own wicked scheme and was replaced by Mordecai as the king's top advisor. The Hebrew people were saved, and God was greatly pleased with beautiful, brave Queen Esther. the end. I hope you enjoyed learning about one of our very many Bible heroes that exist. And tune in tomorrow for even more stories to come.